Now we can show externalities on graphs and this is what I've shown here. Just a quick point, anything that has an M in front of it on any of these graphs, that means marginal, so it will change for every unit. So firstly, our graph on the left. Our two lines sloping upwards represent marginal social cost, the ones on top, so cost negative externality, and marginal private cost, so again cost negative externality, but this time it's affecting private individuals and companies, whereas the line on top, the marginal social cost, was affecting everybody in society. And the gap between those lines, the area between them, is the external cost, so the total external cost. So therefore, because the external cost is the difference between those two lines, the difference between the marginal social cost and the marginal private cost, we can determine the kind of formula, sort of idea, that external costs are equal to social costs, the line on top, minus private costs, because external costs are the difference between those two lines, minus. And on our graph on the right, we can also show external benefits. So these, this time our two lines are sloping downwards, and on top we have the marginal social benefit, so the benefit to everybody in society, and our line underneath that we have the marginal private benefit, so the benefit to individual firms and individual people like you and me. And again, this time the line between the two represents external benefits, so the total positive externality. And again, because that's the difference between the two lines, we can determine that external benefit equals social benefits minus private benefits. That should be a minus, not a plus. So external benefits equals social benefits minus private benefits. And this is because external benefits is equal to the line between the two. Next, we move on to triangles of welfare. But quickly, before we get onto that, you just need to know the difference between welfare gain and welfare loss. So welfare gain is when overall society gains, society benefits. It's good. And welfare loss is when overall society loses out, and this is bad. And when welfare, welfare loss occurs, so overall society is losing out, welfare is not being maximised, so therefore market failure occurs. So, now in this diagram what I've done is, I've put our two diagrams from earlier on together. But this time, rather than have two separate lines for our social benefits and our private benefits, I've just put them together as one line, so they equal each other. But we know they're social benefits and private benefits because the line slopes downwards, just like our graph before. I've left our lines showing the costs, so the social cost and the private cost, separate both again sloping upwards because that's what they were doing before. So benefit lines, external benefits, slope downwards and external costs slope upwards. Now you'll see there is a triangle shaded between the marginal social cost line and the marginal private cost line. And where this triangle is, the social cost, so the marginal social cost if you look at that line, is greater than the marginal social benefit. So if you look at the marginal social benefit line or the benefit line, this is lower than social cost everywhere in that triangle. So therefore, in the area of the triangle, social cost is greater than social benefit, as shown by the lines. So therefore, there is a net welfare loss, so overall society loses out. And this means that the market fails. And this triangle we know as the triangle of welfare loss because social costs are greater than social benefits, as shown by the lines, marginal social cost is greater than marginal social benefit. So therefore, overall, society loses out. And because we have a triangle of welfare loss, we also have a triangle of welfare gain. Now on this diagram, I've done the opposite thing. I've merged the two graphs from earlier again still, but this time I've kept the external benefit lines separate and merge together, put together, the two external cost lines. So our line sloping upwards represents both social costs and private costs, and our line sloping downwards represents, the top one represents social benefit, and the bottom one represents private benefit. And again, here we have a triangle, this triangle coloured in green. And everywhere in that triangle, marginal social benefits are greater than marginal social costs as you'll see, because that line is higher up than the 
social costs line. Social benefits line higher up than the social costs line. So therefore overall in that area, social benefit is greater than social cost. And this means that overall society is gaining overall. This is good. So society is at a gain. So therefore this triangle represents a net welfare gain. So therefore this triangle is known as the triangle of welfare gain where social benefit is greater than social cost as shown by the two lines.